Well, I'm a little early for uh, getting out into the bush for a deer. Ah, it's been a long month, guys. The start of the month. I'm no longer working midnights, though, so that's a good thing. I got laid off. So, uh, so I went and found another job. And it's not nights. Bonus. So, I spent this month just kind of doing some uh, introspective time, I guess you call it. Because when you're stuck in the bush and you're not seeing any deer, well, there's lots of time to think. So, I think I'm going to push harder on YouTube. Um, I think I might separate the channels and put uh, motorcycles and hunting and guns and stuff on a different one because YouTube's really picky. And then I'm going to put them together over on uh, Rumble. So I'll put everything on Rumble as well as YouTube. Maybe I'll start a Patreon. I don't know. I'd really like to get it to the point where uh, we can do it full time. But let's be realistic. I, at my age, I don't need a whole lot of, uh, what do you call it? I don't know, fanfare, I guess. I'm a kind of take it or leave it kind of guy. But yeah, it's been a really busy month because I've been, A, I had to find a job, so that takes precedence and that's first priority, so that's what I've spent the majority of my time doing is job shopping. And when you're a millwright in Canada, you can job shop pretty much across the country. I got guys sending me jobs from all the way on the west coast, all the way to the east coast, from Nova Scotia all the way to BC. And... Uh, I took one that's literally like three minutes from my house in London, so, because why not? It's, I only work four days a week, and it's close to home. I might spend a tank of fuel in six weeks. In the summertime, you never know, I might just walk over. Um, although that would take me a good almost, would take seven, six or seven minutes in the truck, takes an hour in the, in the on foot, so. Yeah, so I'm just filming this with the uh, with the phone. Thought we'll give that a shot because I'm out in the sticks and uh, the GoPro is still in my bag. I'm gonna throw all my stuff on and get bundled up. It's minus one Celsius. It's snowing. It was really snowing on the way here. Uh, snow squalls. I could hardly uh, make out the road. Some people were going as slow as 40 kilometers an hour. Of course I got big snow tires I just whip by at 80 and I can see so I'm good so uh, yeah that's just a bit of an update let's hope we get a deer today I think it's probably my last day that I'll really be able to get out and hunt until I don't know probably at least a couple weeks anyways because I got to start a new job and you know I just don't want all that hectic stuff so let's see how it goes I don't know if you can see them down there, but there's three of them right along this fence line. I don't know if they're bucks or does. They're just standing there staring at me, so I don't want to move. I think it's a doe though, I can't see a rack on it. Well, we're going in the right direction. So right on this rise <clears throat> is where those deer were sitting. I was coming up back through that way. They took off. I think they went into the bush here. But if you can see down there that maple with the orange leaves, it's probably too far away on the camera. But down there is where I plan on doing my sit. And I know there's a big old buck that likes to sleep just to the right of that big ass tree. I've seen his tracks in here before. I actually saw him jump out of that we'd scared him out the one day and we weren't even we we're here for ducks so I'll keep you posted right here no less than about six uh, trails converge about 25 yards out there um, there's two more over just on the other side of that cedar and then there's another 
three or four that come over the private property line and into the bush. So I'm kind of situated at what the biggest concentration for numbers. So if I actually get a shot at one, I probably won't get it on film because nobody to hold the camera. I've been out here since sunup, saw three does, heard does bleeding, and I haven't seen any bucks yet. Hang out for the day and get to at least invest a few full days, I guess. It's only, it was two degrees when I got out here, Celsius. It's now 12, but the wind is still cold. It gets much warmer, I might have to head home and get the motorcycle out. But I think I'll, today I'll reserve for uh, deer all the way around. I don't know. There's, there's some big ones, big tracks going through here, but there was a big one bedded down probably about 40, 50 yards. Uh, to the south of me in front of where I'm, there's a see that big tree it was about I don't know 30 yards the other side of it maybe 20 yards if you now that the leaves are all gone if, if I go over there you can actually see the bed he was laying in and I scared him out of there last time and he spotted me I didn't even know he was there and all of a sudden boom he made a hell of a racket getting away so Let's uh, hope for the best, because I'm staying until sundown. Well, from back there, I thought it was a log with snow on it. <clears throat> I don't know what got him. Something's been out to the ass end. Can't see, I'll check them out later when I get in better light. I'm hoping there's not another coyote kill. If he was, he'd be torn to pieces by now. Third one I found. Scrape and rub, that's fresh. That's the third one. There's one over here, that's an old one. You can't see it. old one there. I think we'll just keep following this trail and see what we run into. Well, a new toy just arrived. Let's see what all is in here. Magazine. Trigger locked. Let's pull it out of here. Ruger American in 5.56. Five, Get her all set up. I think I might take it apart right away and do a couple of mods that other people have, uh, issues other people have found. Like, uh, we'll see how the stock is for Wobbly. And we're going to uncover that button. And go from there and get her out to the range and get a scope on it and see how she works. She just got here. Oh, we should have some fun with that. What's up, guys? We're off to the shooting range. And then, uh, I don't know, might go scout, depending on the weather. And we'll see how it goes from there, but um, definitely uh, it's a day of, it's a lazy Sunday and I like Sundays, so I'm gonna hit the range and then um, if I don't do any scoping, go home and make a big old dinner for Sunday night. So chill out, watch a movie. And tomorrow I'm gonna head to the shop and start getting things sort kind of sorted and cleaned out there. I wanna get the, the CVO, uh, all wired up and ready to go back together and then I still can't find the the parts that I want unless I buy a whole kit from Harley which is like $800 and I really like I need like what a hundred bucks of, not even that out of the parts it's literally two covers that's all I need 
So I might end up modifying mine, but I don't really want to cut up the factory CVO stuff. I'd rather keep it all and it can go with the bike if I ever decide to sell it. Not that I plan to. I plan to uh, do uh, some work on it this summer or this winter. So <clears throat> I'd really like to redo the exhaust system. Let's go to the range. Fuck, this thing's loud today. <sighs> That's probably a lot better. Good thing I hadn't got the big boys out yet. All right, guys, over at the uh, 100 yard range now. I just happened to have these, so I've, I brought two boxes, so I've already burned one over at the other one, getting the scope at least close. And then brought some Federal 80 grains for the uh, 243. Literally just here to have fun and get some shooting in. Well, we went from 100% on that battery to 31. So hopefully you guys get to see the fun. The GoPro went for a shit and the crows got it. So using the old, uh, got the phone going. That's all right. Got the... Anyways, 243 Federals, uh, 80 grain. Try out the old soul girl. She she takes, she only got four. Zoom right in there. There we go. Well guys, that was the day at the range. It turned out rather wet and rainy. I was kind of hoping it would turn to snow. The only time I like the snow is for hunting. It makes life easier. So I got the 556 dialed in. I'm not real happy with the rust that showed up on that Ruger. Just like literally had it out, what, 40 minutes, 45 minutes and it didn't actually get wet in the rain or anything. Everything was pretty much uh, as it came in the box. Um, the scope that I put on it, my one, my front mount came loose. So that was my fault for not uh, tightening it down with an actual screwdriver or whatever. And then once I tightened that up, bam, suddenly I'm a lot more accurate. So the gun itself is great, you know, if I could actually see better, my eyes are what kills me but if i can i can put it in a two inch group then uh, i'm pretty happy at 100 yards and then i worked on the on the savage 243 for some reason i'm shooting a little high um whatever my aim point is i'm about four inches high and i cannot get it dialed in i don't know if it's just being stubborn or i'm moving the turret the wrong way i don't know god this road is this road is unserviced in the, in the winter. The only place I can't hunt is this open land on each side, but the bush all the way around it, other than one little section, I can hunt all of that. And I think it totals out to about uh, 3,000 acres all combined. There's some more, you know, within driving distance of 20 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. On that side, I walked, I tracked a buck, big buck, all the way down through there, and uh, he uh, eventually got into the thick stuff and I couldn't follow him. A lot of guys are saying they're not seeing, like normally they see lots of deer around here, and this year they're not seeing any, and I'm only seeing does, and I've only seen, what, six, and I've been coming out fairly often, uh, four full day sits and only saw does. My feet are frozen. So after being out all day and not moving around a lot at the range, it's different when I'm walking through the bush. But as soon as I stop and I can't move around, my feet get cold. So the GoPro died. So part of this, well, the other GoPro, this one seems to be working, but it's messed up twice since I started it already. Um, Man, I'm telling you, I'm hoping that if 
Santa Claus was the real deal, I'd be literally uh, saying, bring me some cameras that aren't GoPro. I've had nothing but trouble with these things. And everybody, you know, said they were great. And they were great for about six months. And then after that, it's just been, you know, they don't like extreme temperatures, heat or cold. So basically, like, they're supposed to be an action cam to use outside. And everything you do outside is never room temperature. It's either freaking summery and hot or, or winter. So I'm thinking of buying a sled maybe this year. I don't know. We'll see. I just need an old one just to get me around because I can't. All these roads are not inaccessible during this when it's uh, full winter because they don't plow them or nothing. And I'd really like to get out so I can chase down coyotes and stuff like that. So that's it for today, guys. Tomorrow I'll be heading to the shop and try to get some work done.